this is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation over here with the man, one of the best trainers out here in Vegas, my man Dewey Cooper. What's going on, man? All, all is well. Thank you very much, Dante. Thank you for even putting me on. We love, we love what you're doing, bro. I appreciate it, man. Now, um, you have some time to, to reflect on everything. How have you been doing since um, the big fight that you were in with your boy Jesse Vargas, Manny Pacquiao? Um, you know, things, things are well. Um, we wish the outcome would have been a bit different, but we got to live with the lessons that, that were dealt with and we learn from them. Things are good. Jesse's in great spirits. He's doing some traveling. He's, he's uh, having fun right now. Um, you know, he, his body's all healed up. Um, and you know he'll be fighting sometimes, most likely late, you know September, October, something like that. We'll see. That's what you guys are uh, aiming towards right now, uh, around that time. You know that's totally up to him and Cameron. Uh, you know, but most likely it'll be later this year. Um, uh, he doesn't have anything on the table right now that that is uh, tantalizing enough for him to want to do. But you know he'll be fighting. You know before this year over with, I'm sure. You know, but but things are well, man. You know, just in great spirits. I'm in great spirits. You know, we're happy. Hey, let them know about some other prospects because you got some monsters you train in, man. So yes. let everybody know about all the prospects you're working yes. with. Yes, uh, this February 24th uh, at the uh, uh, what? Pechanga, Pechanga, Pechanga. Pechanga Hotel Temecula, Casino, yeah. Temecula, California. My Uzbekistan fighter Sanjar Rachmanov will be fighting. Sanjar, yeah, yeah. War Sanjar, undefeated fighter. He has a really tough opponent coming to him. It's gonna be a bang of done. Both guys come forward. Both guys love to exchange punches. This would be a guaranteed born, born burner type fight on the 24th for Mayweather promotion. So we're excited about that. My UFC Kevin uh, Lee, my UFC fighter Kevin Lee is fighting March 11th. My Bellator fighter uh, Noah Lafon is fighting uh, uh, March 31st. And my other mixed martial artist Jimmy Spacuzza is fighting March 18th. So you know we got a bunch of great things going, and I'm just happy to be a part of everything. You a busy man. You a busy man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me um, get your prediction I still remember that great prediction you did with um, Holmes yes and Ronda Rousey man yes. what you think about Chavez versus Canelo I gotta go with Canelo uh, Chavez I, I just don't trust him in the big fight um, you know he always figures out a way to, to come up a bit short um, Canelo is a very talented fighter um, I, I think he has what it takes to definitely beat Chavez. If this were Canelo and Triple G, I'd be going Triple G by knockout. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll take Canelo over Chavez for sure. Okay. And I'm asking everyone to put some money on it. Does Kell Brook fight his mandatory Errol Spence? Yes or no? And if he does, how does it go down? I say no. He wouldn't even fight Jesse Vargas. Um, so I don't, think he, right. I, I don't think he'll fight uh, Earl, unless there's a lot of money on the table. If they really get the money up for their fight, he'll do it. If it's not big money, he's going to figure out a way not to do it. He'll probably release the belt or something like that. He ain't going to fight unless it's for some money. Yeah. I, so, I mean, obviously you kind of alluding to your answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. So how would it go down if he does decide to fight him? You know, everyone thinks it's a clean wash for, for Earl Spence. I think it's a very intriguing fight. Yeah. Kel Brook isn't a bad fighter. Um, Spence is a, is a terrific young fighter, but I want to see him defeat one of the champions. So I, I would call it a 50 50 fight. I would be lean, leaning toward Earl Spence because he's an American. I met him several times. He's a great guy, and I love the way he fights that Southpaw stands. Um, so I, I would lean toward him, but I think it'll be definitely his toughest fight. And uh, it'll be a, a, a fight to tell us if he's really the future of boxing or if, if, if he's just a, um, a, a more marketing, uh, a, a heavily marketed American boxer. Uh -huh. I hope that's not the case, but we'll see. And last one, Dewey, Golovkin versus Danny Jacobs. Man, you know, I love me some Triple G. <laughs> I'm taking Triple G by knockout. Triple G by knockout. And by the way, Danny, you know, Danny Jacobs, a great guy, hell of a fighter too. He has power, he has balls, he has heart, and he's going to be swinging hard at Triple G also. So it's a great tester for Triple G, but I just think that power of Gennady, the, the boxing IQ, the amateur pedigree will be too much for Danny Jacobs. My bad. Last one, Dewey. 
Klitschko versus or Joshua versus Klitschko? You know I gotta go with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua by knockout. Klitschko has been a great ambassador to the sport of boxing. He's a great man. He's a great heavyweight champion. But it's time to pass that torch, and Anthony Joshua is the next guy up. There it is. Y'all heard it from my man Dewey Cooper. Anything else you want to say to the fans? Man? Uh, I just want to say, hey, man, my more shorts, we train hard every day, we keep getting better. You know, we're aiming for the future. I got a lot of young fighters coming up. Also, by the way, I'm training Donovan Cameron. He's the UK boxer who was in the doghouse fighting on the, on the Mayweather, uh, you know, doghouse all series. Access, yeah. All access. I'm training him now. So I expect big things out of uh, Don Donovan Cameron in the future too, man. Just be on the lookout for BKSS. Got some monster fighters coming up. And Jesse Vargas will be coming back stronger than ever. You stupid fool. Did you really think you were hit me? Huh? Bop, bop, bam! Over.